In this problem, we're given an integral and we're asked to evaluate it. So this is an improper integral and it's improper because it's not continuous at one of the limits of integration, in particular at zero. If you take zero and you plug it in, you end up getting division by zero. So there's what's called an infinite discontinuity at zero. And that's what makes it improper. So when you have an improper integral like this, the strategy for evaluating it is to rewrite your integral and replace the limit of integration where there's a problem with a variable. I like to use b. Then here we have 1. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this square root upstairs. It's really x to the 1 half. I'm going to write it like this, x to the negative 1 half dx. And then you take the limit as b approaches the limit that you replaced. So we're approaching 0. Okay, so here's Here's the interval we're working on, 0, 1, and b is here. So we're approaching it from the right. You see from the little picture, you can see b is approaching from the right. Very important to figure this part out. You know, you just basically, you plot your limits of integration, you put your variable here, and it'll tell you uh, which way it's approaching from. For example, if we were approaching 1, it'd be from the left. Now let's go ahead and integrate this. This is the limit as b approaches 0 from the right. When we integrate here, we use the power rule, so we just add 1 and divide. So negative 1 half plus 1 half is 1 half. So we have x to the 1 half. And we're dividing by 1 half, so we're really multiplying by the reciprocal, which is 2. And we're going from b to 1. So this is equal to the limit as b approaches 0 from the right. First you plug in the 1, so you get 2 times 1, because 1 to the 1 half is 1. Subtract and then plug in b, so 2b to the 1 half. Now you can just go ahead and plug in 0, so this will be 2 minus 2 times 0 to the 1 half, which is just 0. So you end up with 2 minus 0, which is equal to 2. So this improper integral is equal to 2. And because it's equal to a number, we say that the integral converges. But again, the original question just wanted us uh, to evaluate it. I hope this video has been helpful.